So I wanted to talk uh, briefly um, in a little video about Corey McDuffie's Scythe Control deck. Now, it is a variation of Hat. Um, now that Morale Attack has pretty much destroyed itself, along with Corey McDuffie's Hopes and Dreams, I um, figured I'd talk about this because he did something that I don't see a lot of players really do anymore, and it's try to innovate on a decent level in this game. And it seems like it really doesn't exist much anymore. But... The whole mindset behind Corey's idea was, all right, I'm going into an ARG. If I play nothing but Burning Abyss all day, I will top. Very, very, very brilliant theory. Um, he ended up starting off 5-0 against Burning Abyss, doing a phenomenal job. And then he ended up getting blown out by Quill Forts and Dolls. Um, it's very unfortunate. Um, the theory behind the deck was absolutely correct. Very, very, very excellent. Um overall strategy like i said i uh, get scythe on the board pretty much apply the same theory that you would against flying c or with flying c against your opponent and then just disrupt your opponent's general place through scythe however the deck doesn't have very well-rounded matchups against dolls and quill forts because they just either outspeed you or they just dick you over uh, pretty much one of the things that those two decks are known for so why is this actually important um he pretty much proved for a long time um, that there is some theory left in that game now however going into an event like this if burning abyss would be undistributed or undisputed tier zero and you know that that's all you're going to play all day long then this would have been an excellent excellent call and i think that's one of the things that he underestimated was i think that he was putting burning abyss much further ahead than the current big three and i don't think that he really took that into consideration um, I also think that he took more of a gamble in terms of going, well, I'm going to risk it. This is a really good meta call for this particular one matchup, but overall I'm lacking in the other two out of three. And I definitely think that was something that I, he definitely misskewered about the community, is even if a deck is really good, such as Burning Abyss is right now, people will still play other stuff with the same mindset as him trying to break the meta. And, you know, it, it it's a give-or-take relationship here. And I'm not taking anything away from Corey. I, I think it's good that he went 6-3 with a deck of innovation on this level. I definitely think that it shows that there is room for hope in this game currently. But underestimating Burning Abyss, putting them in a higher tier scale than they actually were, was something that I think that you misinterpreted. I don't know if you're accurate testing against the other big two, being Dolls and Quill Forts, uh, was really all what it should have been. I think you might have been able to make some better calls. Um, I really haven't looked over everything in the list, um, but from the things I've seen and heard, I definitely think that you could have had more well-rounded matchups. And to top things off, um, very, very, very good mindset. Um, just wrong application to apply it in the sense. Um, maybe when Burning Abyss would have been more powerful, yeah. But not now. So, like I said, uh, a good use of theory, just wrong placement in a not tier 0 format. Would have been a really good outside of that. Or if he would have played Burning Abyss for 9 rounds, kudos. However, things just didn't work out in his favor. So... Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about the whole Scythe Control. I'll leave a link to his video as well in the description for you guys. And I'm out with my fucking bowl cut. Blah. So bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard. M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.